so I purchased a few things um, at Lowe's. I got this cinnamon basil. It looks beautiful and it smells fantastic. So I plan on adding that to my garden. And I, ha I got this really well-grown spicy sliced jalapeno pepper because I do want to expand on my chili peppers in my garden. And I got another asp asparagus broccolini. So it's in good shape. It's got three plants in there. And the cinnamon basil has about three plants in there. And also from Lowe's, I got this Chef's Trio. It doesn't look that good because it was kind of um, in the sun. So it has this purple basil, this um, sweet basil. And I'm not sure what the other variety is. It, um, I think it's this Genovese here. And here's the original Asperbrock. It had three plants in there and it's growing fantastic. And I purchased this Watermelon Jubilee. Oh my goodness. It has um, seeds and that's not what I intended to buy. Oh my goodness, it was put in the wrong place and I didn't pay attention. Anyway, but that's okay. That one has seeds and I meant to buy two of these, which are heirloom black diamond watermelon. And they're seedless and the fruit is dark um, on the outside and the fruit inside is like bright red. So I didn't mean to get this, but that's okay, I'll give it a try. This one has three plants in there. I have to research if um, I can separate them because certain plants don't like to be, don't like their roots to be disturbed. And this one has four plants. And then over here I have Japanese cu cucumber, suihyo, su and I got two of those. And um, it's because I put some cucumber seeds in the ground and they haven't sprung up. So I'm going to stick these next to the trellis and let them grow. And um, that will give me the time that I need because they do take a long time to sprout. And it's already May, so that's what I plan to do. I have my purple basil from my last purchase and I put it in here in my garden bed some marigolds just to repel pests and I have some nasturtium that I stuck a seed in here and it's just a mixture of things and little bits of brassicas and cilantro growing in there and ashitaba that purple stuff you see and in here is the brussels sprouts and broccoli which are going to flower, I've got to cut them. And I got this stevia plant, good sugar substitute, love it. And then all my prior chilies, the Shishido, Poblano, and Anaheim, as well as the sweet bell pepper are doing great. Starting to have fruit or something and th these these two are getting really tall up front here and that was what I bought from um, Lowe's oh and one more thing from Lowe's I also purchased another Subel Sapote so that together they can um, be cross-pollinated um, by by insects and if it needs a different variety I also have another 
sapote, but I'm not sure if it's mame sapote or vernon. Hold on. So here it is. I'm not sure if this is mame sapote or vernon or whatnot because the leaves are different and I got it as a gift from a friend. However, I love the leaves and I almost pulled this one out um, last year because I thought it was a avocado and I don't want another avocado back here. I have two already and that is plenty. And then from Home Depot, I purchased this um, butterfly bush. It's really, really pretty. I love the color. It's called Butterfly Bush Buzz Hot Raspberry. And I love the color. And my mother has a, a pink one that I'm not sure she got it from friends. But I'm hoping to get some seeds from that. And I bought a... Oh my goodness, where's the label? Here it is. A delphinium. I knew what it was, but I forgot. And, you know, guys, if I saw these leaves growing from the ground, I would have thought it was a weed and I'd pluck it out. So, I, I tried to start it from seeds and I always have this trouble with seeds. Starting from seeds where they don't come up in the dirt. So, I'm not really sure what I did wrong, but I feel like they're too tender <laughs> for my rough ways. And here is a marigold, and um, I love the color of reds and oranges. Really pretty. It was only three dollars for this bed of six. One, two. In fact, there's an extra one, so seven plants in here. But I'm just gonna put the whole cluster into the ground, um, somewhere near my my vegetables to repel pests and it's so pretty I love the red and I love this color rarely is there a bluish purple color plant in nature and I just love this raspberry color so I, I normally don't like to buy too many decorative plants but I just thought this trio is so pretty and I bought this um, from Ikea. It's called Philodendron Minima. And I love the little um, shape of the leaves here. This was a new leaf, the newest one. And then some newer ones sprouting down below. And it's got two plants in there. And I bought two of these. They were about 17 bucks. I gave one to my sister and I kept this one um, and she's got a green thumb over there my mom does as well so I like to have one an heir and a spare <laughs> or uh, one mother plant and a spare and I purchased this um, up to Sifolia. it's variegated and it looks really pretty from Ikea as well and I have one already that was from Lowe's one was variegated and one was solid but this one the variegation looked different so I really liked it and bought it and then I bought this philodendron it is so beautiful I love the shiny shiny leaves I mean it's so pretty and lush and green and um, I got this for $12.98 and I just love it so much. I think I do have a thing for philodendron. Then I spotted this beautiful and only single one of this Pilea peperomioides and it was so cute. Um, it had a couple of dead leaves in there. And, but the rest of it looked really, really pretty, so I just had to have it, even though I have two at home. And uh, I just love the shape of it. It's so pretty. 
and I think I got it for nine bucks. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Um, oh, and there it is. Six ninety-eight. So even better. And it has two plants in there. So when it gets bigger, I'll separate it out. And I really love baby toes. I used to have one, and I kind of let it. Um, I didn't take care of it, and oops, there's a little net. Um, I didn't take care of it, and it died. It root rotted, and I'm not sure what happens to them because it's kind of doing the same thing. It was like having a upright um, way of growing, and now it's starting to kind of like. Um, go sideways so maybe I need to put um, sunlight on it from above I'm not sure but it does the same thing as some other succulents where it's kind of clear up on the top that's really really pretty um, I'm not sure if it's reaching for more sunlight and then I love these little string of baby buttons it's so pretty let's see Chrysula baby necklace. Sorry. <laughs> That's what it's called. I got two of those because they're so cute. And two of these mimicry plant baby toes. So really pretty. And I put it in this little container so that when I water it, I can water it from the bottom. Love it so much. So those are my hauls. Here is the other sapote. So two sapotes, um, Sue Bell, and my dragon fruit, one from Lowe's, one, one from Home Depot. One is red, meat, red flesh variety and one is pink flesh variety. And a special Papaya, strawberry papaya sunrise. So that's what I got. I love it so much. And at Champa Nursery, this is what I got. At Champa Nursery, we purchased uh, lychee, lychee, Mauritius. Oh gosh, sorry. And this plant is so tall. It's about four feet, four and a half feet tall. Um, then I got this from Champa Nursery. Strawberry tree. Mantinja Calabura. I'm, I'm totally butchering the name. Um, but my husband heard about it. And this tree has these berries and when they turn that reddish pink color and you put it in your mouth it tastes like cotton candy and he said he had to have it. So this was his, his pick, his choice. And I was still debating on, on this Dr. White's Cherry Moya tree but he went ahead and bought it. and. Um, it's kind of unusual. The graft is way up here, and then you've got two and a half feet, two feet of um, the, the rootstock. And then we've got this Glen Mango from Champa Nursery. And I looked at the picture, and it just looks so good. Like it's that rich orange red orange color um, looks like it's gonna be really delicious and not so fibrous I believe the Gladden variety is a really good variety and here are the little seeds I mean flowers that are about to bloom and I'm hoping there will be fruit this year so yes, um, I guess I shouldn't have went through it so quickly. Here's the dragon fruit, pink flesh, from Home Depot. And it's about, ooh, I'd say a foot and a half long, 18 inches. And what's well, the price on this thing? 18 
and I bought this red flesh variety and I didn't know this but I bought this two days prior at Lowe's and it was $22.98 but that's okay it's a red flesh variety and this one has quite a few branches I don't know if you can see one two three a fourth branch and a fifth branch here and a sixth branch right there so that one will be really good for for use and this one has just the one where it separated there and like I said this um, strawberry papaya sunrise I purchased from Home Depot and it was $19.98 and it's gonna have fruit rather quickly it just needs to grow to you know the second or third year and it will have fruit for you and like I said my second cherry moya I mean um, Sibel sapote so it's going to be awesome. It's going to give me lots of um, fruit, hopefully, if, they, if the um, insects cross-pollinate them. So those were my hauls for my food forest, and I love it because I'm hoping for lots of fruit coming up soon this year or the next. And speaking of which... The Feijo is in bloom and it's got so many flowers. Every day I come out and I'm seeing more flowers. And the flowers are edible. Um, the flowers have a slightly sweet taste. So let me just pull this one off here. Boy, it's a little stubborn. And I'm going to eat that check for bugs okay mm-hmm mmm it's sweet mmm it tastes kind of like a melon with a bit of like basil or, or mint it's so good it's really delicious and here this is the first bloom I'm seeing from my Shinseki pear love it and all these are new uh, leaves it just was bare this winter and it started to leaf out now little blooms not sure if you can see them awesome mmm that was so yummy I might have another it's like you have to decide for the feijoa whether you want to eat the blossoms or wait for the fruit. <laughs> and I'm just going to save the rest to, to fruit out because I really want to try the fruit. Guys, I don't know what to tell you. Well, I do know what to tell you. I highly recommend taking this um, the time to purchase some worm castings or... Uh, fertilizer, um, Dr. Earth fertilizer, and feeding your plants in the early spring because um, you just get so many blooms and then from that you'll have so many fruit. I mean, look at this beautiful pomegranate tree. I mean, holy cow, it is blooming. And this one, um, I didn't water it this much. Um, at all this uh, this year um, not on purpose because what happened was I left the cistern spigot open and the hose led all the way over here to the uh, pomegranate tree and it released probably 3,000 gallons of water on accident into this whole area where the pomegranates are and um, I just all I do is throw um, lots of um, branches and other things to keep the moisture in the ground. See, 
Um, those were the passion fruit vines from last year. I just throw it over there and kind of keep it moist down there and it will break down and feed the plants and sure enough it is doing that. It is, and that cost me zero dollars, just a little work. I mean, wow. This is the most colorful and most abundant I've ever seen it. And this pomegranate, I didn't even put worm castings or anything, not even the Dr. Earth, but it's doing fantastic. Now, I've also heard that some plants produce every other year really well. So maybe that's just one of those years where it's a bumper crop and then next year there won't be so much. So maybe that's what it is. I have no idea. Because that seems to be the what happens with my lemon tree. So last year it produced a ton of lemons and lots of flowers and everything. And this year, look, it's only got a few lemons up there. And the rest here is just green leaves, a few new fruit that are coming up, but it's really, it's really not as um, abundant as last year. So I don't know if that's the same as well, where it just produces a lot every other year. I mean, it has to conserve energy too. So, so here's my goji berry. And <laughs> My goodness, it is so lush. It's just every day I come out and it just seems to be bigger and bushier and wider and taller. It's doing really well and it's starting to have blooms. So I think this is going to be the first year too that I'm going to have goji berries. I have some mammoth sunflowers coming up. One, two, three. Fourth one over there is protecting it with that mesh from any... Um, anything that might come and chew on it. Love it. It's humongous. And these are evening sun sunflowers. They're gonna have like a brown tint in the middle with some yellow. My zinnias are blooming so nicely. I love zinnias. They remind me of dahlias very much. And I believe this is aster and it's growing nicely. And the dill's popping up, and um, let me see those little tiny baby things. They are common time. Love it. Um, what are these? I'm not sure what they are. I guess we'll have to see when they come up, because I've forgotten. They look like um, some kind of melon. Oh, I think they're the Costco um, orange melons. I forget what they're called. Um, yeah, I forgot what they're called. And here's some other kind of flower. I'm not sure. I think, oh, I think it's the carnation. And I don't know, this part was kind of bare. I think that's um, an herb, like sage or something. It's got these bumps on the leaves. And I tried to grow stevia, guys. You can't grow stevia outside, I think. Um, I finally read the instructions on the seed packet, and it says to start it up um, indoors with light because I think it requires milder temperatures. And earlier this spring, it was rather hot on a couple days where it reached the high 80s and 90s. Not sure what volunteered here, but it looks like a squash or a hollyhock or a cucumber. I, I did throw some cucumber seeds down here, um, but I don't know if it would make it out this far unless it got kicked out here or raked out here. I am so happy. So I propagated this yellow rose from my yard. I have a, a bigger mature rose bush and now I've propagated this little one here. Love it. And I propagated these two from my front yard and the color is just so pretty. 
um, this video doesn't do it any justice than seeing it in real life. I mean, it's, um, it's a beautiful color that I had it from my front yard. I have the mother tree and, um, I propagated these two here. So I think I'm going to give one to my mom because it's so nice. So yesterday when I was at Home Depot, I saw a plumeria and it said red and yellow and I almost bought it, but because I've been buying too many plants lately, and I don't think there's such a thing as too many, it's just that <laughs> it's what I can afford, so I decided not to buy it and I'm kind of having remorse that I didn't. Um, and there were other butterfly bushes, a pink colored one and I kind of wanted it but it was like 20 something dollars and I just couldn't get myself to spend any more than I did yesterday and the last few days um last few weeks so I should stop rambling on and um so it was a haul turned update <laughs> of what's happening in the garden and with that I bid you adieu. Have a great day.